பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கணும் Um, hi Tyler I'm I'm sorry for the noise uh what what was it like what was it like for you uh, for the players to, just to see the fans and, and what were the emotions like uh when when you saw the crowd out there Are you asking about the fans I couldn't really hear you the players Um yeah no I think it was uh it was it was pretty cool um uh, going out for warm ups and seeing them uh seeing the towels go on and they were they were they're fired up and they definitely um gave us that emotion to start the game and um I thought we played really good obviously a couple of tough bounces but we stuck with it and that was um uh, a huge goal by KK. Okay. Uh Alexis Belanger. Hi Tyler. Uh just getting those uh, two goals on the power play. Do you feel that's uh, it's much of a relief and uh, what do you think worked out on those two goals? Well, I mean obviously the uh, the first one was definitely a dirty goal and um second one Suzy made a good play and um got a good bounce off off the glove. So, um I thought we've we've been working, we've been talking about our power play a lot and obviously um how we need it to not only, you know, score goals but generate some some uh momentum and I thought we did that tonight and we had so many chances to capitalize after that and uh I mean obviously they have a good goal over there and um we stuck with it and, and came out and now uh you know it's uh, do or die. Jean-François Chaumont Hi Tyler, sorry for the noise. I'm just curious to know what was the feeling playing the overtime? There was a lot of tire legs on the Canadian side, so I guess the goal was a pretty big relief. We weren't tired. We knew we we knew, we, uh, we we were good. Um, obviously, they they're a good team. They uh, they had some good opportunities, and uh, pressure came up huge uh, multiple times, and um, that's just what happens in overtime. You uh, you only need one shot, and um, it was a you know it was a beautiful shot. Jean-François Chaumont. And Tyler, maybe on a personal note, to get your first goal, could it be getting the monkey out of your out of your back of your shoulder? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I've had, like I've said, like I said earlier in the in the series, I've I've had some really good looks, and um, they just weren't going in. And um, I, I had multiple chances early early tonight. It was one of those things that um, you could feel it kind of coming and. Uh, I had Cole kind of in the back of my head saying it was it was going to come and uh obviously it did. Two that one. Father, what did you think the start of the game having the fans sing the national anthem did, did that fire you guys up even a little bit more maybe coming into the third? Yeah, obviously it was it was great having the fans back in the building like I was saying. Um they're obviously really excited. Um they've been through a lot. We've all been through a lot so um for everybody who got the opportunity to come tonight um I was we're very grateful and um they definitely helped us get that win tonight Eric Engels Tyler uh, when you think back to when you signed here how many times did you dream of a night like this where you end up scoring in in front of the fans in this building uh, I mean well I dreamed of of scoring in front of 20,000 fans not 2500 but uh it was really cool like I was saying it's uh It was just a great experience. Um a huge game for us. We obviously we needed to win and we all came to play. So it was, it was good. Did you know? Tell her you love you you won the last two games in OT. So how's the you've been there before? All all the confidence level going to Toronto for game seven now. Yeah, it's do or die. I think we have to come out and have a good start. Just honestly just play the way um we've been playing. Um try not to have the breakdowns and um not give them any life but that's just the way it is like like I was saying they're they're a good hockey team and um we got to be ready for the pushback and um we just found a way and we just got to keep going John Lou Tyler what allowed you guys to uh be able to stay uh level and even uh, I mean aside from Carey Price after uh you, after Toronto tied up the score and was dominating uh play through most of overtime I mean that's just hockey um you just have to find a way and like i was saying one shot wins it um would we have liked to be in their zone the whole time uh yes but uh that's that's not what happened and um you know we we just found a way and that's just uh that's what good teams do oh tyler uh, can you uh, just give us an appreciation of uh, uh of of the of the work that the four defensemen had today uh, big big gutsy performance on their part Sorry, can you uh, re repeat that? Yeah, can you just give us an appreciation uh of your uh what do you think of the work of the four
Marc-Antoine. Yeah, can you hear me now? Oui, okay, vas-y. Go. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, can you just uh, comment on the, the work of the top 4D tonight and how they how they played the, it's such a gutsy performance tonight from them? Yeah, they were horses. They uh, they made some great plays coming out of the zone, huge blocks. Um, they play hard. That's uh, you know they're they're big, strong D-men, and um, obviously I've um, like I was saying early on in the season, I've, I've played against them and and didn't like it very much. So um, they play hard. They play uh, you know the right way, and they played big, heavy minutes tonight. And um, obviously they uh, they came through, and we'll get some rest and and be ready for Game Seven. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you.